Hello everyone, um, I'm here today to do something a little bit more fun that I've never done and that is an original tag. So um, I think that a lot of people liked my series of backlisted books uh, where I went for decades through backlisted books that I've loved and recommend you some. Um, and I thought that I could get back some recommendations by making a tag about backlisted books. So this is a backlisted tag. So the first question is, um, do you read backlisted books and why? Um, for me personally, I read backlisted books because I think that apart from the fact that they are more available and normally libraries have them, which is very convenient, also I think there is a lot of value in them and once the hype had died down, it's a lot easier, I think, to see which ones actually might be suitable and which ones you might be excited about. So that's why I love backlisted books and I think that the quality of backlisted books it's obviously as much as when they came out normally, um, if they're good enough. So um, there's no reason to to do that, to not do that. And instead of, I think that the community of booktube puts a lot of focus on new releases but I think that backlisted books have a lot of value as well and I want to highlight that. Um, my second question is uh, what is your definition of a backlisted book and that is especially when does a book become a classic and when does it just a back backlisted book. So for me I, th I will say something has to be at least 50 to 100 years old to become a classic. So at this point in time, we're in 2021, so a classic could become a classic when it's something older than 1970, I will say, roughly. I mean, there are books that you clearly know they are going to become classics. Um, and there are books that you have to wait to see if the they sustain in the past of time. So yeah, that's my personal definition, but I think that different people have different different definitions and I would love to hear what yours is. The next question is, name a novel that you love um, that it's a backlisted book. Um, and I have a series of recommendations on the channel, so I'm not going to answer this one, but I would love to know which ones are your recommendations for a backlisted novel. The next question is a backlisted non-fiction book that you love. Um, and again, I, in my recommendations, I do have a lot of recommendations for non-fiction books that are backlisted and that I think are really worth your time. Um, so you can go back to that video and, um, and look at them if you want. Um, the next question is um, to name a translated book that is backlisted that you love. Um, and again, my recommendations are there for you to watch. If you want recommendations, there are a variety of books in all of them. But I want to have all of your recommendations, so give them back to me. The next question is uh, name an author that you have read, read all of the backlist from. Um, and I was thinking about this one, and I think that, sadly, probably one of the only ones I can say is Chimamanda uh, Ngozi Adichie, but we all know that she's a problematic author, so I don't want to talk too much about her. So I will just say that one author that um, I almost have read all of the backlist of is Ruth Soseki. I have one book left, um, and it's there. So I will be reading it soon, I hope for. Um, so yeah, Ruth Oseki. I, I really liked The Tale of the Time Being. I loved My Year of Meats. I think all of her creation sounds great. And I also read The Face, which is a non-fiction novella kind of thing, um, which I really, really like. So yeah, and she has a new book this year. So I'm excited about all of that. Um, so let's just go for that. <laughs> the next question is name an author that you want to read all of the backlist from. Um, and for this one, I mean, my favorite book is from, by Ngugi Wadiongo and I have read about 
four of his books. I would like to read them all. Another author that I really want to read the backlist of is um, Ben Okri. I have read, I think, three of his books now. Um, and I'm planning to read another one soon. Um, but he has a lot of more. So, uh, also. And Elif Shafak. I read only one of her books. Um, but I loved it. And I have heard really good things about her. So, Elif Shafak is also in my list of authors I have to get to at some point. And then the last question I have is um, to name a book that is a backlist book that you think will become a classic. And of course that depends on your definition of backlisted book. But I think that uh, one that, I mean, I, I think many people already uh, consider him a classic author because he's dead, maybe. <laughs> But I think that Jose Saramago will for sure be a well-established classic um, and all of his books. I think Blindness is probably the, the most uh, known one um, and for a reason, a good reason. But I think in general he will probably become a classic author in time. And yeah, those are all the questions. I hope you enjoy. Let me know your answers and I want to thank some people, of course. Um, so I want to tag Corny Ferriter, I want to tag, tag Rainier from Rainier Books, I want to tag um, Kiran from Getty Books, I want to tag Lorraine from Reading with Makar, um, I want to tag Nicole from Nicole is here to learn, and I'm going to tag Jim from Jim's, Jim's uh, books and reading and stuff, and I'm going to tag Doris from all the books, and I'm going to tag Heidi from reading, My Reading Life. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tag. I would love to know your answers. Uh, please let me know. And until next video, bye!